In this quick video, I'll give you a quick demo overview of FSOF's Document Intelligence Visual Business Object, or VBO, for Blue Prism, which is available on Blue Prism's Digital Exchange for download. A few slides before we show off the demo. To put FSOF Transact in simple terms and in the context of a robotic workflow, we open up Robot Vision to unstructured content in documents, providing classification of document types, separation of bundled PDFs and images, and the extraction of data of interest. How is FSOF different than other OCR results? Won't plain legacy OCR work? In the Smart Capture world, document text and OCR are the absolute bottom of the stack. To glean information, many technologies provide pattern matching engines through regular expressions, scripting, or templates. But what happens when a robot encounters unstructured content or a new version of a form? FSOF adds intelligent algorithms on top of the legacy document capture stack, improving accuracy and exception handling, avoiding hard-coded templates, and providing ease of setup through a supervised machine learning training interface. When working with RPA, FSOF provides flexibility to handle all types of use cases, volumes, and robotic requirements. Essentially, there are three core methods to leveraging FSOF's technology in a robotic document workflow. I'll give you some background on each of these in the next few slides. The first and easiest way to leverage FSOF is a front-end on-ramp to feed your digital workers. In this method, FSOF can ingest documents from folders, emails, scanners, copiers, mobile devices, content systems, and much more. Standard smart capture review and validation can occur, and the end result in, is data in a CSV, XML, or other format for robots to consume. Here's a bird's eye view of FSOF's standard smart capture workflow from start to finish. Again, a simple, flexible way to feed your robots standardized documents and their associated data. The next two methods leverage FSOF Web Service APIs and pre-built VBO embedded within Blue Prism's Process Studio. The first method provides robots with batch upload capabilities directly into an FSOF Smart Capture workflow. It's appropriate for groups of documents that exist in a robotic process and can provide human interaction for problem documents or exceptions processing. This method essentially has a software robot as a source of documents, feeding the document process with the ability to engage human knowledge workers for quality assurance or exceptions processing. At the end of the process is another robot waiting for the results. The next method focuses on the processing of a single document, essentially a transaction. Through this method, the robot can receive a classified document, extract data, and confidence levels immediately via a web service response. This provides real-time decision and branching capabilities for a digital worker. This can be executed synchronously or asynchronously through FSOF's array of objects. This transactional method creates a tight feedback loop between RPA and the document intelligence services provided by FSOF and is appropriate for a wide variety of use cases. So now that we have a high-level view of the three methods for integration, let's do a quick review of the VBO. The first is Upload Batch. This provides all the functionality to digital workers to upload a large set of documents. Next, Batch Status gives you a way to monitor all your processes in flight. This can be leveraged as a trigger for validation, which I'll show in the demo. For transactional or single document processing, we have an OCR classify extract web service that will process synchronously or asynchronously and give you back results. Finally, we have what I call the interpreter. That takes FSOF document data model and converts it to BP objects for use by digital workers. So those are the methods we have within the VBOs today, but understand that FSOV has a stack of web services, both micro and macro services, management services, and overall platform services that you can tap into from Blue Prism. This large number of services can help with a whole set of document processing functions. This is a short list of the few of the services available, everything from barcode reading, image processing, batch control, and much, much more. 
I'm going to show you a simple demo where we're processing SF86 forms for government background checks. We'll use the extracted data to run credit checks on the individual and do some exceptions handling. So let's go ahead and get started. So to, to kick off the demo, I'm going to use email as a, a processing point just for simplicity. Let's go ahead and go back to uh, J. Smith's inbox. We'll go ahead and create a new email. We'll send it to the robot. Go ahead and address it, and we'll attach that uh, that SF-86 document. Let's go ahead and open that and look at it. If you take a peek, this is a fairly complex form that's used in standard background checks. Um, it's not totally filled out. I just filled out a few of the different areas. We'll go ahead and extract things like last name and social security number, and then use that um, for an intelligent process. Let's go ahead and send that on, and I'll go ahead and sync that so I can show you some of the other fun stuff. So let's go ahead and sync that up, and then we'll go into uh, Blue Prism. So th this is the workflow or the process that I have built uh, that's going to be followed. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and kick it off here in a second, but uh, we'll go ahead and connect to the email. We'll uh, grab the, the attachment, then we'll go ahead and bring it into the FSOF process and we'll upload that batch into the FSOF server and then we'll check to make sure it goes through. Now, it, if it was something with no confidence problems, no extraction issues, it would go through straight through the process and we'd never get notified. But that's not a real situation. We want to be able to process exceptions. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and, and process an exception. I'll show you how that that works as we go through the process. So let's go ahead and kick this off and then we'll go ahead and start it. So you can see it's starting to go through its process. You can see I'm populating these variables as I go through the workflow. It's going to go ahead and pull that email box, grab the attachment, come down, and then you're going to see really quickly it's going to upload that batch into Ephesoft and get a batch identifier. So now what it's doing is pulling the server waiting for that job to commence, and it's watching it to see if it's going to um, throw an exception or, or require a human to intervene. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and open the, uh, the FSOft interface. The interface I'm showing you here is what we call Batch Instance Manager. So in the Batch Instance Manager, this is kind of a, uh, an overall view of all the work that's in flight on the FSOft server. So you're going to see everything that's queued up for validation, as it goes through these different steps in the workflow, you're actually going to see uh, the processing. If it errors out, you have the ability to troubleshoot. You can restart batches, do all those things. A lot of this you can do through those web services as well. We've also got a full reporting engine, so you've got the ability to, uh, to run reports on batches and see what your throughput's like from a processing perspective. So we'll go ahead and refresh it. It's going through page processing right now. Now it's going through extraction, and then it stops in validation. So what I've done is we've actually got the uh, the process looks through. You remember I told you it's checking on that batch status, and then uh, if there's an exception, it sends uh, an email with a link. So the users won't be bothered if things go from start to finish with no problems, but if there's an issue, it'll actually route us into the queue. and uh, in this example, I actually put in some um, high tolerances for OCR so it would actually stop in the flow so I could come through and show you what's going on. But you can see here we extracted all the data. I've got different pages with different data types that I've zoomed to. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to validate these real quick. So from you can see from an end user perspective, it's really simple. On the left hand side, I've got the docs, I've got the data. I've got a view that zooms to the particular data that's in question. So I'll go through and validate these separate fields. You can see that they turn from red to white. And when I click the final validation, it'll now go through and, and continue on the process. So it also drops me back into the validation interface. So if there's other batches that have queued up, I can go through the work really quickly 
get through uh, get through the work and then um, get those batches and data to its end destination. So if I go back into my uh, into my process, you can see right now that it's looping through, waiting for the final result. And in this example, it's going to pick up an XML file and take all that information and um, and put it into objects in Blue Prism that I can leverage. Okay, it's going through now. I got the XML. It's starting to convert all those different pieces into uh, objects that I can then leverage within Blue Prism. You can see I've got uh, first name, last name, date of birth, social security number. And then it's going to launch a credit app, give me uh, the credit result for that particular individual. And then the final flow step, um, it's actually going to send me an email saying that the background check's complete and giving the, uh, the actual name of, of uh, the individual. So simple demo just wanted to show you all the bits and pieces and the types of things that you can do um, from a valid interactive validation perspective to a data extraction perspective if you have any questions you can find the fsoft vbo on the uh, on the digital exchange for blue prism or you can come to our website and uh, ask us for some more information thanks for your time